Halt! What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I've got a pass. Really? And who you kill for that, you cutthroat? Now, will you let me pass or not? Well, go on in before I change my mind. Huh. Move along. Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. So mind your tongue. We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? I have come to get the Eye of Innos. The Sacred Eye of Innos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But... I don't want to hear any more about it. First you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then this. Incredible! All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter along with his troops. That is why access to the upper quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the town hall in the upper quarter is now the command post of the paladins. Only the paladins themselves and members of the militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harbor District, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. 
Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? What do you know about the paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Do you know anything about the peasants' rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Yes, a most humble servant, Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Innos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks. That way, I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break, and there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not going to teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. That's not what my husband I've got no time for things like that. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. It's an open secret. How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. You don't say. There's more, believe me. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinus without a decent job. Is that so?
glad you picked that up then. Wait a minute. New in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harriet's apprentice. Where did you pick that up then? What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm Maybe almost done with my apprenticeship, opinion. and then I'm going to leave the city. But not because that. of Harriet. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves, above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorpin the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street. And Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. I'm not touching that. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. I don't believe that. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. He simply talks too much. It can't go on like this forever. And he works all day, too. You mustn't believe everything you hear. These are bad times. <sighs> uh, oh, uh, what's up? What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Oh, really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. It was just like you said. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask? My approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Not really. Get lost then, or you may well suffer an injury. That's what I've always said. That's the first I've heard of it. That's what I've always said. We can only wait and see. That's not what I heard. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now except for the rich people from the upper quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, 
I was doing the rounds, serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I don't believe that. I went to see the militia about it. But they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this feller that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. What is it with this Valentino? He's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, uh, go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Show me your wares. How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves, together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know where there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town, until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. If you want to learn how to skin an animal, go to Bosper. He's the one who taught me. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well... It's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Didn't you go looking for him? No but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor as far as I know. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? No. Then it wouldn't be worth it. Come back when you learn something. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. 
What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting. Oh, is this filthy rabble. Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down-at-heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino the Handsome, bon vivant and ladies man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. Now that's typical, isn't it? Do you have anything else to tell me? Make yourself popular, never promise anything to anyone, take what you can, and watch out that you don't get into a quarrel with the militia. Or with jealous husbands, of course. They're the worst, let me tell you. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. <laughs> Put Doesn't away matter that to weapon. me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But Will you'll you have to run around that with that mug of weapon. yours for life. Smart kid. Hey, you! Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said, you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you want to join us, son? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you're bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trust you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? 
Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you, really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the Ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the Ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other Water Mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man, but I actually 
can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or you cannot find it, simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will-o'-the-Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well, and it will never fail you. A Will-o'-the-Wisp in an amulet? Will-o'-the-Wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will-o'-the-wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You would better stay away from them. Can the Will-o'-the-wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons? Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Satyrus. Perhaps he can tell you more. Thank you. I shall take good care of it. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Inos. Very well. Inos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire, his gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. Wait, if you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. Hey, I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there, because of the bandits for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Do you know anything about the Paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. <laughs> Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the Paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman. Without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. 
Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon. But Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. It's gonna get even worse, honestly. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. And it's going to get even worse. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here and follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. Really? How interesting. Show me your wares. I don't believe that. And he works all day, too. That's not what my husband thinks. That's what I've always said. And he works all day, too. Everybody knows by now. Now that's... Enos, be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the Traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. You can't keep anything. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaroo, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. He can't keep anything. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. Don't tell this to anyone. How much gold was in that purse? Fifty gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. And he works all day too. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. He can't keep anything to himself. Show me your wares. That's not what my husband thinks. I won't tell her a thing from now on. He'd better shut up. That's not what my husband thinks. He simply talks too much. Don't tell this to anyone. How's business? When the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity, but they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. Now that's typical, isn't it? What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. 
Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. An owner, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm, but I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Show me your wares. He can't keep anything to himself. Now that's typical, isn't it? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Everybody knows by now. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? It's gonna get even worse. Do you want to direct a prayer to our That's Lord Enos? Say. Or donate some gold for his church? Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Where do you come I from? I come from the Monastery of the Magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty Lord Enos. Go away. Don't tell me that. Tell me about Inos. Inos, our that. almighty lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be his tool, giving them magic and laws. We act in his name. We administer yeah. justice according to his will and preach his word. Everybody knows by now. I need to talk to the paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, no you secret. need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city an guard. Secret. And of course, to us, magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join oh, our I order as a novice. When you have served for a time, oh, perhaps you will be accepted now. into the ranks of the magicians. However, do the, the path to acceptance is long and full of work That's and study. I've come to get your blessing. That's good. Eyes. That's good. Then you Who will probably like want that? to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, Everybody won't you? By now. Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an it's apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, These without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible That's for me terrible. to bless you. How else can I be certain of Don't your good intentions to toward the Holy Church of Enos? But that's terrible. Tell me more about the monastery. Oh, hey, we that. instruct our students in all forms of magic, oh, but the arts of the magicians of fire consist of more than these Just alone. Like that. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy Don't and in the creation of powerful runes. <laughs> we also make excellent wine. These are bad times. What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins really? and support the citizens with my advice and with helpful That's words. Terrible. Particularly in these difficult if times, it, it is our eyes. duty to be there for the people and to help Don't the poor. So how much does That's a donation usually run to here? Well, that worse. depends on what percentage you want to give, son. <laughs> Let me see how much you brought. Mm -hmm. That's what I mm -hmm. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says give if you have. The church accepts your generous donation. I bless you in the name like of Inos, for he is light and righteousness. Really? How interesting. That's what I've always said. And he works all day, too. Jorah says you've got oh, his money. Don't tell me that. Damn it! I'm out of here! Go away. Don't tell me that. Welcome, really? stranger. My name is Baltram. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. Things like that. I don't have much in stock right now, but... That's what I'll, I'll be getting a new delivery soon. Everybody knows. Show me your wares. Who says things like that? Have you got a job for me? 
No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. And he works all day, too. Everybody you still fun. owe me a favor. It is time to pay your debt. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. That's not what my husband thinks. These are bad. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to foist the letter on her? Let her show you her wares, and while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city, so don't try to play me for a fool. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. You don't say. I've got to go. Suit yourself. I don't believe that. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Everybody knows by now. You don't Show me your wares. That's not what my husband thinks. That's an open secret. That's what I've always said. I don't believe that. That's not what I heard. Someone's got to do the work. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Everybody knows by now. Who says things like that? Someone's got to do the work. Please don't pay attention. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I'm training the boys to use a crossbow and help them become a little more dexterous. Could you train me? No. I only train the men in the service of the king. Nobody else. But we can always use good people. So if you want to join the militia, go talk to Lord Andre. I know nothing about picking locks. What do you want? Peck isn't here, so you can't get anything. Come back later. I want to get stronger. Of course you do. But so long as you aren't one of us, or a paladin, I won't help you. How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. I want to join the militia. So? Are you a citizen of the town? No. Then Lord Andre won't take you. Sure, you can talk to him, but I don't think he'll make an exception for you. What's it like with the militia? Lord Andre is our commander now. The militia used to report to the governor. <laughs> he had no idea what we do here. But Lord Andre knows what he's doing. He takes good care of the men. Everyone who starts here gets some decent armor and a good weapon. And there are bonuses if you've done a good job. He pays a bounty for every criminal captured. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. 
All right, you can start when you're ready. What are the advantages of one or two-handed weapons? Quite simple. With a one-handed weapon, you're faster. That can be a considerable advantage in battle. Two-handed weapons are more ponderous. You have to fight with foresight, but you can do a lot more damage when you're hit. Where should I start, with one-handed or two-handed weapons? That's entirely up to you. If you specialize in only one type of weapon, you automatically learn the other at the same time. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. In that case, the training is more exhausting than if you train with both types of weapons. Just start and you'll soon see what I'm talking about. Let's begin with the training. Come back when you have more experience. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? The hosts of orcs are led by Dra- I know that the armies of the orcs are growing ever stronger. You don't have to tell me that is what you wish to report to Lord Hagen. He would tear your head from your shoulders if you wasted his time with such stories. And I'm sure that you're clever enough to know that for yourself. So what is this really about? That I must tell Lord Hagen myself. Suit yourself. But you should know one thing. Lord Hagen receives only paladins. Or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. I want to take up service with the paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the paladins, you will learn nothing. Why are you paladins in town? The goals of our mission are secret. I can only tell you that there is no danger for the citizens of the town. You need not worry. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well... Well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. 
but it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. About those missing people. Just leave me alone with that. I've got other problems. I've come to collect a bounty for a criminal. Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? Do you have proof of that? She has a letter in her pocket which details the delivery of arms to him. She won't get away with that. I shall have her arrested. <laughs> 